Look at this, it's a black mamba. I know lots of people have been wondering about snakes. It's a big black mamba that's being attacked by starlings. And I just saw the starlings acting strangely. So I stopped to have a look. I said, Viam, I'm sure there's a snake there. And we just saw that mamba rear its head. It's quite a big one. And you can see that coffin-shaped head of the black mamba. Now the snakes are going to start getting moving at the moment. Oh, isn't this awesome? Out, right out in the open. You can see the starlings there. Very unimpressed to have a mamba in the area. They might have a nest close by. And they were dive bombing it. They might try dive bombing again. Look at that. Yeah, I'm just oh, in comes the starling. I'm just going to move a bit forward. Well, cat in Tampa, you are asking for snakes this morning. There we go. A nice big black mamba, probably around two meters, maybe even a bit bigger. And just seeing where it's going. Don't want to get too close, don't want to scare it. Is it going down a hole there, Vim? Was that a stick? No, that's indeed the snake. I'm trying to see if it's going down a hole, or it's just... No, it's not. It's coming up the other side. Now, it could be hunting for frogs, mice, baby birds. And you can just see those starlings are really upset with its presence. Do I need to move him? Yeah. Okay. If we're lucky, we might see it climb a tree. I've lost sight of it. Have you? Still got it, Vim? Let's watch the starlings. They tell us where it is. There you go. It's going to climb the tree. It might go into a hole in the tree, or it might climb the tree. This is spectacular. This is one of the, the best snake sight. What's the best snake sighting of the wet season so far? Now you see a very square-shaped head. Uh, as people say, it looks like a bit like a coffin, and uh, that's why you got to be careful around them. Now, of course, you can see the black mamba is indeed not black at all, but more of a gunmetal grey. Now, the black part comes from the inside of its mouth. It has a black inside of the mouth. Now. Black is always a color of danger in the bush because a lot of animals can only see in black and white. Okay, let's move again. Let's try it around. Just wondering if it's going to go into a, a crevice in the tree or is it going to... Oh, there's other birds joining in the mamba beating. Let's just try to see what's going on here. Is that it there? Or am I seeing things again? Just right to the, just to the left of the base of the tree there. A little bit more to the left. A little bit more. No, it's a stick. Now, Easy, who's a new viewer, is wondering, do snakes drink water? Indeed, they do. They do drink water. I think this mamba might have gone into a hole. Let's just try it. As I said, we don't want to get too close. We don't want to scare it away. VM thinks he can see it. Back. There we go. No, we've still got it. We've still got it. That's the tip of the tail. Now you always got to worry, where's the head? Now, of course, they have incredibly powerful neurotoxic venom. You see those starlings mopping it? Now, it all depends on how big you are, how dangerous a black mamba is. Of course, they are very, very... Oh, look at that! Now, 
are snakes in there somewhere. Now, if these birds sense an opportunity where they can peck the snake without being bitten, they will do it. Where's he gone? Or she gone? Well, thank you very much, James Richards. James Richards says, wow, Brent, you've got all the firsts of the season so far. Impala lamb, Woodlands kingfisher, and now a black mamba. Okay, let's have a look. Oof. So upset. I'm just trying to see if I can pick up any movement. I'd say, just judging from how agitated the, the starlings are, they still the snake's still just below them somewhere. See the one there, oh, somewhere there. Okay, let's try and move a little bit again. Might be just taking refuge from the bombardment in that little bit of brush we've got there. And we could have gone down a hole. Let's just have a quick closer look. I think he's gone down a hole. What do you think, Vim? Uh, we've just got to be careful. Mumba is also the fastest moving snake. Fortunately for us, the vehicle is faster. Nope, I think he's gone down a hole. <laughs> 